Once you have registered with MDSOAR and received your confirmation email, you can submit an item. Go to mdsoar.org and select the login button on the upper right hand side of your screen. Enter your email address and password and sign in. You will then see a list of communities in the MDSOAR consortium. Select eScholarship at Goucher, which is Goucher College's institutional repository. From here you will see a list of subcommunities and collections, and what you are submitting determines what community or collection you will select. Once you locate your proper community, select the link. For this example, I'm going to be a graduate student in the Education Department who wants to submit my action research paper. So I will select Goucher College Graduate Works and then Master of Education. I will then select Submit a New Item to this collection, and here's where I enter information about my work. The only two fields that are required are title and type, but the more information you enter, the easier it will be to locate your piece during a Google search. So I'm going to enter in my inform as much information as I can. My title in. date that I wrote this paper. Here you can see that program is pre-populated. If this is not the correct program, you most likely have selected the wrong community and will need to go back out and reselect. If you are an undergraduate student, you will see the program as bachelor's degree and you can put the department for which the work was created in the department field. But since I'm entering this for Masters of Education, I'm going to keep it as it is. Here's where I see type. I want to select the option that best represents my item. I'm submitting a written paper, so I will select text, but you can see all the options from the drop down window that you could select. My format is an action research paper, it's 16 pages long, and it's in English. I'm going to select next. Here's where you would put subject keywords, your abstract for your paper, any departmental sponsors, and possibly a description. I'm going to now upload my file, and this is where you would browse to get your information. I'm just going to select a file as an example. It's in there right here, so I'm going to go to Next. This is where I can review my submission. If I have any issues, I would select correct one of these, but I don't. Everything looks good, so I'm going to select next. The last step is the distribution license. Here you are agreeing to grant Goucher College a no-cost, non-exclusive right to your materials. This means that while you have given permission to Goucher to make this item freely available online, Goucher does not own the copyright. You as the author can still retain copyright, and you are able to publish item, this item in other formats as well. If you agree to this, then you grant the license and then you complete your submission. And this is how you submit an item to eScholarship at Goucher. If you have any questions, please contact Kristen Walsenbach in the library.